Hey, welcome back to The Dive. Our guest today is a serial entrepreneur, innovator, and thought leader in telecom infrastructure, cloud computing, gaming, and esports. He will deep dive into their computing technology company for the video gaming industry, as well as their footprint risks in 5G and edge computing industry, their recent trading, and key events that investors should be on the lookout for. He is the founder and CEO of Swarmio Media. Vijay Karthigesu is joining us today. But before we bring Vijay on, just a quick reminder to smash that subscribe button for me, please. Hey Vijay, welcome to The Dive. Thank you, Cassandra. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, so as we do with all of our new guests, what's the high level two minute elevator pitch for Swarmino Media? Swarmino Media is a technology company focusing on the gaming industry, uh, providing a solution for telecom operators to monetize their subscriber base. And while we are doing it, we are also enabling the gamers to get low latency access to games and fun, uh, engaging content in the platform. Um, so we are engaging gamers, enabling telecom operators to monetize them, and we are getting a piece of that revenue stream. So that's what Swami Media is. Is this platform for mobile gaming only? What systems does it work with? No, it, it doesn't have, uh, it's actually, it's a platform independent. Uh, so we can, the platform support any type of gaming, mobile gaming, whether it's console gaming or PC gaming or cloud gaming, doesn't really matter. So platform, platform has like a multiple components. One is, a, is the uh, engagement uh, platform where gamers can come and gamify it and earn points and, and have fun with the community. It's like a gamers community hub. And then they also have, we have a store. So they earn points and they go to the store and redeem uh, items like in-game items and, and uh, buy game, gaming skins and stuff like that. And then when they click, they want to buy more, you also have a Swami or pay solution that they can actually pay with their mobile wallet or, or, or say the telecom operator's wallet. Uh, so that's, uh, so they don't really need to have a credit card. They can just pay with their mobile wallet. And so all of these things integrated and run on our patented edge computing solution is called Matrix. So that solution gives them ultra low latency connectivity. So combination of all of these things give gamers an amazing experience and fun and engagement while enabling the telecom operators to reach out to them and, and monetize them. Okay, interesting. So beyond gaming, users can do other things like buy skins and pay for things on the platform. So our platform is, is, is not about playing game, it's about building the community. So it's, 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 it's targeting the local gamers community to, and, and capturing their lifestyle. So the whole idea is to, they share things with their friends, they have fun, uh, they just want to kind of earn points and they buy stuff in our store. Uh, anything gaming and gaming, gaming is, is become from hobby, it's a lifestyle now. If you look oh, at gamers, uh, they don't just play a game, they watch game, right? Most mm -hmm. of the people, uh, my kids actually spend more time watching game than actually playing game. <laughs> so they can watch uh, curated content. While they are watching, they can actually earn points. So it's kind of a gamified watching experience um, and, uh, and they can buy items. If you look at my kids, they have gaming t-shirt, gaming hat, gaming mouse pads and gaming mouse. So gaming is like a lifestyle. So we are capturing the gamer lifestyle through our platform. Amazing, such a big world of it right now. So it could is. you walk it us is. through the revenue model? Yeah, it's very simple. So we we go to the telecom operators and provide our platform and we, we run a 10 key solution and telecom operators, they bundle this. So when you buy an internet or mobile phone from a telco, you can pay sometime $5 add-on to a $10 add-on. So telcos charging between $5 to $10 to their users per month to get access to it. And we just get a percentage of that. So our percentage is usually from 80% to 50% depends on the telecom operator deal. So we get that kind of money to us. So telcos keep 
sometimes 20%, sometimes 50% based on deals and deal terms, and we get the rest. So it's a revenue share model. That is our main model. And then if you look at the store, anything they buy on the store, we get a percentage of that item as well. So we go to the publishers who want to sell it to these audience. And if you look at them, most of the publishers, they want to reach out to these audience where they don't have a credit card, they want to buy with their mobile phone. And we are enabling the game publishers to reach to this generation and audience where they don't have the credit card reach and they can easily pay with their uh, mobile phone and we get a small piece of that as well. Wow, perfect, sounds great. Okay, yep. so Swarmio focuses on the Middle East, Africa and Asia. Why are you focusing on these regions in the early stages? And, and, and also, uh, we are also focusing on LATAM as well. So if you look at Asia, Africa, Middle East, LATAM, there are 3 billion gamers in the world. Two, two third of the gamers live in these regions. That's the main thing. So this is where the gamers live, a huge okay. number. And now the other one is if, when we talk about telecom operators, telecom operators are, uh, in North America and, uh, and uh, uh, Western Europe, uh, the generation, uh, the population is like more older generation than younger generation. The regions that we are focusing, more than 60, 70% of the, of the population is actually younger generation. So okay. this is where the gamers are. And the telecom operators are having trouble reaching out to these younger generation. Because telcos, regardless of whether you are a North American telco or Asian telco, you have the same mentality. So they have trouble reaching out to the digital natives and the millennial generation. And gaming is something they can, so they need something to reach out to them and monetize them. And the market is also, if you look at Canada, it's kind of oligopoly market, like only, you know, with some telcos controlling the whole environment and CRTC kind of give them the space. But in Asia and all the other regions, there's cutthroat competition. So telecom operators need to differentiate themselves and access these younger generation. And we give them a tool to do that. So that's why we are targeting these regions, less competition, there's a need for it. Telcos are dying for the solution. And that's where the gamers live and lots of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, makes sense. So one risk investors see in 5G and edge computing is the capitalization. Companies require large amounts of capital to scale. What has the response been from institutional investors at this stage? We are actually talking to lots of institutional investors, but the cool thing here with us, well, there's lots of 5G talk going on. And, but the idea of 5G is cool, but there's no real use case yet. So 5G, Gaming is going to be the first major use case for 5G because 5G gives low latency and high bandwidth. What other program can utilize both of them together? So gaming, so all the telecom operators we are talking in these regions, there's multiple reasons they are talking. So they, they get additional immediate revenue generation immediately and they get to reach out to all the gamers immediately. Plus now they are getting ready for the first major 5G application with us. So that's another reason all the telcos are working. So yes, we, especially with our edge cloud solution, which is 5G and edge computing is go hand in hand and we have everything ready. So for the telcos who is partnering with us, this will be their showcase 5G application. Okay, okay. So last month, Sormino uh, commenced trading on the Canadian Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol SWRM. This seems like the kind of company that would typically raise money at a Silicon Valley. Why the CSE? So we did actually raise, we didn't go to Silicon Valley, but in Canada, we have raised uh, money from uh, uh, early stage venture capitals and government. So we have raised, uh, before we even go to CSE, we have raised quite a bit of money to build the technology. Okay. So where we are today is the technology is built, it's all operating, we need scale. So we need to scale faster. Yes, okay. so we are not in Silicon Valley, we are here, but we need to scale faster. In Canada, for a Canadian company, uh, going public, give us that currency and the scaling okay. option that we can scale faster. In, uh, so this is the reason we, we decided to go uh, go public in Canada, so we can scale faster, grow faster, uh, and it will go into, it's going to give us that currency to do many M&As and, and uh, uh, scaling. 
Okay, yeah, great. Okay, so one more thing before we let you go here, VJ. For investors watching the story, what are the potential catalysts or key events that they should be keeping an eye out for? There are so many announcements that we are going to come up with. So let's keep an eye on announcement about uh, telecom sign up. So that's going to be our target is to get to this region, sign up as many as telcos we can, because this is a unique solution. Nobody has a solution like this. So, so it's, the market is up for grabs. So we are going to sign up lots of new telcos. So keep an eye on it. And as we sign the telcos, these all these audience that telcos have, not just gaming, we can add new content to monetize them. So watch out for announcement. I can't disclose anything now. Please uh, uh, please follow uh, swamio.media slash investors. That's our website. We will keep you every uh, keep everyone up to date. And um, yeah, there will be lots of news items to come. Perfect. Yeah, definitely a company to keep an eye on. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show today. It was uh, so nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thank you very much. Thanks so much for tuning in today. We'll be back again tomorrow with the latest news and updates. So be sure to stay tuned by hitting that notification bell and smashing subscribe.